Hey there wonderful people welcome 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 back to my channel guys thank you so very much for tuning in today today's tutorial is going to be a simple glam look it's a lame look but it looks cute so guys if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look keep on watching also check the description bar below for all the details in this video So I'm starting off with the Maybelline New York Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter in Deep Gold. I'm going to put that all over my face. So I'm now going in with my foundation. It's the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm the color coconut that's 355. I'm using a beauty blender looking sponge looking thing to blend that in my face. It's not beauty blender. So yeah, I use that dam to get the product saturated properly. Okay, so this foundation is supposed to be full coverage, wear up to 24 hours, seamlessly matte finish, but it didn't cover my spots. So what I need to do next time is to color correct before I put my foundation on. time to light up the face a bit using some concealer I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the color butterscotch It's not what it looks like, guys. I know you're probably saying, why is she using so much? Why is she using so much? That's too much makeup. Well, it's not that much. The, apl the applicator in it brings out just a bit, just what you need. It's not a lot, and I only dip what twice. So I think that's sufficient. I'm just using the Beauty Blender looking thing to just blend that all out. So to set all of that concealer, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup just under my eyes, on my nose, on my chin, and my forehead. Bear in mind that when you're using, um, when you're going, when you're about to bake, you should re-blend the area that you will be applying the powder onto, just to prevent it from creasing. For example, you will see what I did. I before applying the powder I went back over with the beauty blender looking sponge looking thing and blend out my under eyes and then I apply the powder to that okay guys so to contour I'm using the black radiance press powder along with the MAC 129 SE brush to carve my face out. So when you apply foundation, it makes your face flat. It get rid of all the shape and the shadows that are originally in your face, right? So when you apply foundation, 
I know after applying your foundation you should put those shadows back and that is what contouring does or should do for some people so now you can see I'm putting in the shape back in my face where my where my cheekbone is now my forehead and then I'm gonna do my jaw line because that those are where the shadows will be in your face So I'm going to use the same black radiance pressed powder in ebony for my nose and yes it looks wow. I had to like blow it off a bit because a lot came out and I was not expecting that at all. But I fixed it in the end and I'm, I'm not good at contouring my nose because I'm, I don't know what's wrong but I'm just not good at contouring my nose. So to blend everything out on my face, whether it's the baking powder or the, the contour powder, I'm going to go in with the Sephora Micro Smooth Matte Tan Powder and I'm going to put that all over my face. If there's anything that is too light, this will make it better. If anything that is too dark, it will make it better. So I pretty much just go over everything and make everything nice and smooth. Like the name, Micro Smoothing. okay so to bronze my face i'm using the smashbox contour palette the terracotta bronze bronze terracotta yeah terracotta terracotta yeah i think that's terracotta it will be in the description bar below guys so check that out okay so just to set everything i'm going in with my mac fix plus and just going to use my beauty blender looking sponge to blend that all in so i pretty much push all of that spray into my skin and it tones down the makeup pretty much what it does please check the description bar below for my eyebrow tutorial i'm going to use the morphe 3502 palette and i'm going to start off with chestnut I'm now going to go in with the big bad bold brave from the same palette that's the palette that I'll be using throughout this video so yeah I'm going to apply brave in my crease area so now I'm going in with brunette So this is the Morphe 35B palette and I'm going in with the yellow color. Me no know the name of the color. So yeah, just the yellow one. It's the only yellow one that is there. So I'm going back in with the Morphe 3502 palette with Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so to polish that off, I'm going to go in with the color Polished. I'm going to go right in the middle of my eyelid just to give it a little lift. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so just to put some colors on my lower lid, I'm going to use Chestnuts and I'm going to blend that all out. After which I'm going to go back to the Morphe 35B palette and use the yellow and orange right beneath that color. And to brighten up the eyes a bit, I'm going to use Polished in the eye corner or the tear corner or I forgot the name of it. 
yeah, yeah, right over there. Look at that, beautiful. So I'm using NYX Professional Makeup Matte Liquid Liner and I'm going to do a wing liner, guys. So I don't normally do this. I normally just line my lower lashes, put some mascara on, put on my lashes and go. But this year, things that I've never done before, never attempted to do or, you know, things, I'm, I'm trying to step out of the box, out of my comfort zone and do things that, you know, will, will, will make me grow. So I'm starting to practice how to do wing liners. So we're going to learn together, guys. So mind you, I made a lot of mistakes. I wanted to cry. I, w I was like, oh my God, this look is going to be messed up. It, it was awful. But at the end, you will see that it came out okay. You also observed that one of my lashes are, were really crooked. But the old nurse would say, you know what? It, it, it looks too bad. I'm, I'm just going to delete the video and try again tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll be depressed and not record anything. But no, I'm going to upload it. So when you see that crooked lash, just, just, just say, girl, I see you. <laughs> just say, girl, I see you. Okay, I'm doing a little dance. I'm going to pop this one. This one will apply okay. It's the other one that will look crooked. I make my eye look like, you know. Like I'm looking in the other direction, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. So one eye down I'm going to do the other one like voila okay I know you see that crooked lash don't act like you don't see because I see it okay all right so I'm going to go in with my Maybelline master chroming gold I'm going to highlight my cheekbones I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my nose and yeah and then I'm going to just use my max fix plus and set all of that Talk the truth, talk the truth. Me don't look like one nice Christian lady, law abiding citizen, nice Christian lady with my natural ear and thing. It's just the lashes that people say, you know, the church sister will be like, don't you think that's too much? You know, and the church mothers will be looking, looking, looking at me weird. But apart from that, I look like a wonderful church sister. You know, don't it, talk the truth. okay so this complete the look guys thank you so very much for watching till the end please share this video with your friends give it a thumbs up and also press the subscribe button if you're not notified or not be notified when i post my videos it's because you didn't ring the bell so please just ring just just press that bell right there thank you guys so very much for watching i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye